for a much anticipated main event. 12 rounds. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. A well-placed overhand right. Teddy, I don't think there's any doubt about it in the matchup that we're seeing here tonight. It's clear who has the superior hand speed. What does the other guy need to do? He needs to let the faster guy shadow box. Step out of range where he can't use his speed. The Brown Bomber's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Halfway through round number one. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Blocks away that headshot. Come on. Good way to protect the midsection. Come on, kid. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. The Brown Bomber's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Able to dismiss that body shot. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bit. He's confident. Goes up top with a right hand. What a sharp, piercing hook by the Brown Bomber. Well played, straight right hand. Scores up top with a left. Halfway through round number two. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Carries that punch intended for the head. Missed the target with that hook. Good biting, snapping shot by Dynamite. Ten seconds to go in this round. Dynamite's last round to me, Teddy, completely ineffective. His accuracy way off the mark, throwing punches, but lost the round. Joe, talking about being off the mark, if you're traveling outside, you're lost. You need a map to find your way. He needs a map right now to find his way. He needs some direction. Okay. Jump on it. A well-timed right hand by Dynamite. And now he's targeting upstairs. That's it. The Brown Bombers feeling the impact of a big counterpunch. 
Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. The Brown Bombers nailed by a huge hook. Fires right back at him. What's the hook? Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. The Brown Bombers jacked by an uppercut. Dynamite's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Oh, that's a big shot to the head. Landing two jabs by Dynamite. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Right hand downstairs. Big shot. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. to prepare for a situation like this but many do he's been down now he's got to survive so that's where you're wrong it's not hard to prepare it's a must to prepare if you're a trainer that's what you do in the gym you teach a guy if you're in this situation this is what you do you grab on you move your head you survive start of round number four but an interesting fight so far dynamite's losing this fight one round to two but keep in mind the one round that he won he scored a knockdown well, in golf, they say you have to have a short memory. In boxing, sometimes a long memory. He must remember he can hurt him. Wow. He is leveled. How could he possibly get up from that? He's not going to. This fight's over. It's over. The Brown Bombers, the man. One single punch, one solid knockout, that's all.